Hey guys, John Sikoris here, entrepreneur, business owner, and uh, I wanted to share some tips that I've learned along the way, or maybe some red flags to look out for. Um, this video today is going to be about scammers. So when you start getting into business or you want to get into business, or you're looking to make a buck, right? You go out there and you search the internet or things just pop up on your timeline or in your email that look really interesting and try to pull you in. You know, make a thousand dollars in two days or whatever it may be, right? Or this business is the best business in sliced bread, right? Or we've redesigned the tire or wheel and we're gonna just push this out here and you're gonna be on the, you know, the 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 first edge of all this investment in industry, right? So when you see these different things out there, you know. The one rule I go by and live by is if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Those old sayings are true every time. You know, when I was a little kid, I didn't believe them all. And as I've grown up and I've seen these things from my own eyes, I definitely believe them more and more. So with this, you want to make sure whatever you're going to do that you get educated on it, right? You know, spend some time and really dig. Educate yourself by going on the internet, looking for these different companies that you want to get into or the business that you want to get into. Look and see if it's legit. And you can't just look up the business name because these people have ghost writers and they're writing all this different content and that's what's going to pop up with that keyword. So that's all you see. So you want to look for like reviews on companies or bad reviews on companies or any information on these companies. And that's probably where you'll hit the jackpot if you're going to find anything. And not to say that you will all the time, because like I said, some of these people, they're very discreet, they're fly by night, they change their names, whatever it may be. And at that point, you just got to be cautious about what you're going to get into, right? And when you're going to give your money away or when you're going to invest your time, okay? These are all things you need to look into. So, you know, just one thing that you should watch out for are people that say that they're going to give you $10,000, but you got to... Go and you know put this check in the bank and then wire them ten thousand out of them. They send you a twenty thousand dollar check, guys. Nobody's going to send you ten thousand dollars and ask them to send you about ten thousand um, dollars. I've seen this happen right with my own eyes. I've seen somebody do this. I'm like, why did you do that? Like, oh, I, you know, I got the money, but a day or two later, the bank called them up and said, hey, listen, you know, you deposited this check. You know, you probably didn't mean to do this. That's fine. We've got the money back. Um, at that point, we're going to have you come down here and you're being discharged from the bank. Okay. And that's not a cool conversation to have with a bank. And I'm sure they have it on record somewhere. And you don't want to be in that boat. All right. The other things are, is, uh, you know, people look for weakness. Okay. And not to say the old people are weak, but they look to exploit them or just to exploit people that are uneducated about what they're talking about with them. Okay. They come up, they fast talk to you. You kind of think, oh man, this is the best deal. They make it really, really good. It's all polished. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a turd, right? It, it, it is what it is. You can't polish that up. So just look out for different things and different scams out there. Remember, it's up to you to educate yourself and vet yourself on the business or situation that you're going to be in. Um, and always look to professionals maybe that can help you out, whether it's an attorney uh, or a CPA or whatever it is to really check into what you're going to be giving your money to invest in um, or your time, right? And there's other companies out there um, that they want people to buy a whole bunch of product and they want to try to sell that product, but they really don't make that much money off the product. And the whole point is to get people underneath them, right? So they can sell more products so they can get more of a, a paycheck out of it. You want to watch out for different companies like that. Usually, if you're on the bottom end of that company, you're probably not going to make too much money. Okay, and a lot of people fall short. It's a great business model for the people that are very top of the pyramid, but at the bottom of the pyramid, it's no good. So just watch out for this. And, uh, you know, especially in these times right now, um, you've got a lot of different people out there that are running scams, uh, whether it's identity theft too as well. That's another big one. So make sure you're protecting all your information as much as possible. Um, and at that point, just be safe because, like I said, th this time in juncture in our environment, in the country, in the world, um, people are using all these different scams to take advantage of people like yourself or you know older people too as well if you're younger. Um, so at that point, these are just some tips and tricks from me uh, and Business 101 with John. I'll come to you guys with more advice and more tips and tricks to hopefully get you by and hopefully get you a dollar or maybe even save you a dollar like this video will help you do. So I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.